Hello lovely colouring friends, my name's Amanda and this right here is my channel called Amanda Colours. So did you know that from 1912 to 1948 the um, Olympic Games also gave out medals for the arts? So um, fine arts, literature, um, painting, sculpture, all that kind of thing, um, music I think as well. Um, and this was because the founder of the modern Olympic Games um, said it was necessary because the ancient Greeks used to have arts awards um, that would run alongside the ancient Olympic Games. So I think that's really interesting. And before they um, before they cut out um, the awards for the arts, there was over 150 medals that were given out. So, yeah. There you go. Today, I am here to share with you my Morgan O'Brien colouring book collection. So if you've been around the channel for a while, you would probably know that Morgan O'Brien is one of my favourite illustrators. Um, and I don't have all of his books, but I pretty much have all the ones that I am interested in getting. Um, I... I'm not really into Halloween and that sort of thing, so I don't have those books. But let's just get started. So I do have his um, free books. I haven't printed out the whole books of either of these yet, though. Sorry, just bring you up a bit. So this is one of his free coloring books, um, Welcome to the Island. He did have to make a bunch of books, a few books, um, free because of... Um, copyright reasons and licensing and that sort of thing um, and this is based on a very well-known computer game <laughs> so um, yeah so there's welcome to the to the island and then there is also welcome to the forest which I have downloaded as well but I haven't printed out the whole thing um, I will have links to all of this in the description if you wanted to grab your copies as well um, and then I also have, where has it gone, the book um, Welcome to the Village, which was the first one that um, came out of this series. I have coloured a couple of pages in here, um, but I haven't given it the love and attention it deserves, that's for sure. So I've coloured this one, and I have a feeling that might actually be it. Yes, it is. So I've only coloured the one in this series, but I think they're adorable and I need to get into them. I also have his um, uh, what do you call it? <sighs> My mind's gone blank. His April Fool's Day um, page that he did, um, making it seem like he was doing a Matchstick Mouse and Mickey Mouse colouring book. Um, but yeah, it was just this one page and it was an April Fool's Day prank. On this theme of Matchstick Mouse, I do have a number of those these books and I just realised there's one that is not in my pile. So I'm going to grab it from over here. And so we have Matchstick Mouse Floral. So this is one of my focus on books for this year. So I have done a good amount in here. Not as much as I would have liked still, but I have done some. So I did this one. And pretty much all of these pages have Copic markers um, and then just different embellishments. And this one. This one. And I'm really proud of how um, these tulips turned out. Very pretty. This one, this one I've actually used metallic watercolour in the background, which is a bit of fun. This one. This one, I used quite a bit of glossy accents. That was before I got my better nozzle for it, because it's all bumpy and lumpy, but I've got glossy accents there on the glass. 
and this one I did this for International Day of Pink earlier in the year this year so I used all different pinks this one was a body color and this one was a body color I think and this one was also a body color this one I've used some pencils to do some details. This one I did completely in pencils except for the um, dandelion puff, which I've used white acrylic paint pen for. And that is it for that book. So Matchstick Mouse Floral. I also have Matchstick Mouse Springtime. And I've done a few in here. I did most of them for Easter, so I did this one. And in this book, I'm doing metallic watercolor splotchy backgrounds on all the pages. I've also used um, glaze, as you can see on the glaze pens, on the paint and on the egg. So I think it's only the Easter pages I've done in here. So there's this one, again, the metallic paint in the background. And then I've used Copic markers as well. This one, the metallic paint in the background. Some glaze pens on the worm and the carrot and his nose, her nose, sorry. The cute little bun buns. With the watercolor in the background and the hot cross buns this one was a buddy color oh I have a whip I've been finding whips lately and I thought I wasn't someone that had whips <laughs> so there you go I don't even know myself very well do I need to fix that I did I remember I did do that as a background in a video um, of how I did the background so I'll try and find that video and link it up in the iCards so that is the springtime book then we have um, matchstick mouse summer I haven't done very much in this one this cover always makes me think of autumn though the colors just feel so autumn to me. But anyway, that's just me. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I have done this one, and that was just last month. And that was a buddy color. And there's some stickles and glaze and things on that. And then I've done another one. I feel like, yes, I did this one. In a field of flowers, I've used some um, Wink of Stella and other sort of shimmery things on the flowers and whatnot, the clouds. I think that's it. Yes, that's it for summer. Then I have autumn. Uh, Matchstick Mouse, an autumn colouring book. I would really love it if he brought out a winter one that isn't Christmas because he's brought out an autumn one that isn't Halloween. So, Morgan, if you're watching, can we have a winter Matchstick Mouse book? So this one I've actually gone through and coloured on every page his little body. I don't know why I did that. Obviously, I was just in the mood for it. But I have done this page, and there is some metallic gel pen on the raindrops and glossy accents on her eyes. And then another rain one but this time I used stickles for the rain and the puddle and some metallic pen on her raincoat and uh, her little bag I have done this one which feels very Halloweeny to me different glaze pens on the eyes and the bug this one with all the parcels um, each parcel has some metallic gel pen on it. I don't know if that's picking up. 
Then this one, which I'm really happy with, she's asleep with all little treasures, stamps and acorns, feathers, her little spider friend is there. Then there's this one where she, I can't tell actually if she drew herself or if the worm drew her and she's just holding it. But um, I tried to do like an iridescent spider, but it didn't really work. But I've done that one too. So that is Matchstick Mouse Autumn. Then we have Matchstick Mouse Christmas. Um, so last Christmas, Morgan did a really fun um, scavenger hunt where he worked with a whole bunch of um, coloring YouTubers and Instagram account holders. Um, and he had pictures from the book, but as well, he had some uh, special limited edition pictures um, that you could get at different people's uh channels so this is some of these are some of the um special edition images so there's this one with little grogu stuffed toy and this one as well and matchstick mouse doing some baking and here she is doing some present wrapping and this was the one that I actually had and Morgan told me that it was his favorite of the illustrations. So that was pretty cool. Um, and Matchstick Mouse is counting down the days till Christmas and getting her decorations ready. So then I do also have the book um, and I haven't colored much in here at all. Uh, I did a couple of pages for Christmas in July. Yeah, so I did this one, and that was a buddy colour. And in fact, that might even be it. It is. So I have lots of Christmas pages that I can colour. I did colour a bunch of these last year um, during December, but um, I just printed out some fresh ones to show you. And I just realised there's one other book. What happened to that? Hmm. Oh, it's still there. And on the theme of Christmas, we have North Pole Elves by Morgan O'Brien. Uh, and this is just adorable. I mean, it's not technically a Christmas book, but it kind of is. It does have Christmas pages for sure. So I colored this one for Christmas in July last month. Um, with Copic markers and some stickles on the snow, which is really cute. And then last December, I colored this one. Again, I've got stickles on the snow. And I think that's it, yes. Then we have the Chompy Fluff Monsters books. Um, and I just realized I haven't actually put my washi tape on these, but I haven't actually colored in any of these. So there's three, volume one, volume two, and volume three, but I haven't colored in any of them. So I need to do that. Okay, so I had made my whole video and was editing and realized I forgot like one of my all time favorite Morgan O'Brien books. So I am making this extra bit of video and going to insert it into the rest of the video. So it is The Way Home. Unfortunately, this one is not available anymore. Again, um, I think for licensing reasons, um, but this is based on a little um, big eared friend that is just adorable. Um, I'm really hoping that Morgan might make this available as one of his free uh, downloads, um, but yeah, we'll see what he does. So let's take a look through at um, the pages I have finished in this book. I have completed um, quite a few because I am coloring along with the hashtag Grogu in 2022, which started last year and is continuing this year. And it is run by Jojo Zahanna. Um, but yeah, I've also done a few extra pages, um, but I'll zoom you in because there's a lot of white space around 
these pages. So again, mostly these are done with Copic markers and I've done bits of glaze on his eyes and metallic on various things as well all throughout the book. This one has a lot of metallic bits. This one has glaze on the frog and his eyes and some of the plants. This one. It's such an adorable book. This one here, I've put glaze on the tongue and the eyeballs. This one has a coloured glaze on the mug and metallic bits. This one's one of my favourites. Put some glaze on them, um, the spines and the eyes and things, but I just really like the colours in this one. This one's a bit of fun too. I actually use glossy accents on his eyes this time. So they're extra glossy. But then we have this one as well. I use glaze all on the back window to make it look like glass. one I did last month and it's not really my favorite the colors didn't turn out the way I wanted but there is quite a bit of metallic and colored glazes and things this is actually for this month's um, page so you're getting a sneak peek but I'm so happy with how it turned out the sky looks great and just yeah I'm just really really happy with it and we have a few that I haven't done this one again, I'm really happy with how the colors turned out on this one. Yeah, there's a bunch that are not colored and there's this one. I've used some stickles on the snow. I kind of think of them as ice wolves. <laughs> and this one had a lot of fun um, with the colors in the sky on this one. This one is also done. And a few more that are not done. This one's one of my least favorite, again, mostly because of the colors, but yeah, I've got some glaze on the flask and different things. I do like this one. I've got stickles on the snow or rain, whatever it is, in the sky. This one was fun. It was for um, another prompt where to use pink. And I've got um, dragonfly glaze on the egg there to give it a iridescent shiver. And then this is another sneak peek. I just did this one the other night with metallic watercolors for stars and splattered some um, metallic watercolor around as well. So that is it for The Way Home. So that, my friends, is my Morgan O'Brien coloring book collection. I hope that you enjoyed it. Well, it's actually more than just my coloring book collection because there are also PDFs in amongst all of this. But I hope you enjoyed having a look. Um, are you a Morgan O'Brien fan? Let me know. And let me know which of his books is your favorite. Mine, oh, I don't know, it's really hard. I think probably the floral or the springtime matchstick mouse books are my favorite. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me today. Uh, feel free to ask any questions or leave any comments. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because that would mean a whole lot to me. So that is it from me today. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.